Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Destiny Hero Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post the December 2018 ban list. Wanted to bring an update to this deck because a very important card in the deck, which is Destiny Hero Malicious, was hit on the uh, recent ban list down to two, and just a lot of things changed, um, just with the overall setup of how I wanted the deck and just the other different cards, plus with some other advice I've gotten. Overall, with the Destiny Hero deck, I've liked how the deck has played uh, moreover uh, as a whole uh, since then. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So to start off, for the Destiny Hero monsters, I'm running three Destiny Hero Drill Dark. Now for this deck, I wanted to remain uh, still pretty much focused on the Destiny Hero plays with a few other uh, hero cards for backup. So for those cards, Destiny Hero Drill Dark, if it's normal or special summon, you can special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your hand with attack uh, less than or equal to this card's attack on the field. You can only use this effect of Destiny Hero Drill Dark once per turn, and if this card attacks a defense monster, you inflict battle damage to your opponent. So overall, this card really does help to set up your uh, plays on the field, just monster swarm wise, whether you want to go for a link summon or an exceed summon, or just benefit from having, um, you know, set up with your destiny hero monsters on the field. Uh, very, very helpful for sure with this card. And then for backup, I run three Destiny Hero Celestial. Still want to get one more secret one uh, to have uh, Max Rarity Secret Rare for my Destiny Hero Celestials just because I really do love this deck. Um, but anyway, moving on. When this card uh, declares an attack, you can target one face-up uh, spell card your opponent controls, destroy it, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent while you have no cards in your hand except uh, the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card and one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard to draw two cards. You can only use each effect of Celestial once per turn. The draw power in the graveyard really does come in handy overall just for uh, making up late game even if you you know invest your entire hand in a play. That draw two can give you cards you need just to set up some more plays depending on what you grab. It could be a mass change, a necrofusion so you can fuse from the graveyard. You name it. Celestial definitely does help uh, with it. So definitely three of in the deck. And the spell destruction definitely also comes in handy for getting rid of cards like field spells or pesky continuous spells that are on the field. And I also run two Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. With this one, a once per turn, you can excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is a normal spell card, send it to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. During the main phase or of your next turn, you can activate the effect of the spell card from your graveyard, even if this card is no longer face up on the field. So it's good because we run plenty of normal spells in this deck uh, that you can benefit from. So having this card uh, just for that setup definitely does come in handy. Uh, just two though, it helps because you can also get this card out with Drill Dark and just have that Field Swarm potential, but um, not as important I would say as some of your Celestial and Drill Dark plays. And uh, as the new ban list said, we are down to two Destiny Hero Malicious in this deck. Now, it doesn't really um, hurt the one play as much, but the one thing I've noted, and if you want to take out uh, Destiny Hero Malicious completely from the deck, just because you risk opening up both of them and then just having a card that you can't even play anymore in the deck, I would recommend taking out the two Destiny Hero Malicious and one Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. And if you do that, put in three Vision Hero Vion. I debated whether or not I wanted to put Vion in the actual video um, to start with, but I figured more people have Diamond Dudes and Malicious available to run in the deck, so if you have that option, go ahead and go for it. But if you have the Vions, those are what I would recommend taking out for uh, those. But still helpful if you can get the Malicious off, especially if they're both still in the deck and you can set it up with a Destiny Hero Dangerous play and then just make the special summon uh, taken care of uh, next turn. So very, very helpful. Um, um, when you can get off at least, but like I said, not as cons consistent as when the card was at three, sadly. And then for the one ofs for some of the Destiny Hero monsters, I run one Destiny Hero Decider. It uh, can't be uh, targeted for attacks by level six or higher monsters, so great wall when you're going up against some big high level uh, monster decks. And if it's normal or special summon, you can add one hero monster from your uh, graveyard to your hand during the end phase of the turn. And during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would inflict damage to you, all these cards in the graveyard, you can uh, return it to your hand, and if you do, negate uh, the damage uh, you would take. 
unique. And you can only use each of those effects uh, once per duel, so remember that. But Destiny Hero Decider is very, very helpful otherwise. I only run the one, though, because of the fact that it is a once per duel effect for each of them. The one will resolve on the field, the other one resolves in the graveyard. So it's not like you need multiples to get off each of the effects with Decider. And I also run one Destiny Hero Dreamer, just one Dreamer. It helps for the special summon, protecting your Destiny Hero monsters, but only the one because you can set it up in the graveyard with Destiny Hero Dangerous, so no real need to run any more than that. Uh, same goes for Disc Commander with the new errata. Um, it cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. The turn was sent to the graveyard, but once again, going for your main Destiny Hero Dangerous. Uh, get it in the graveyard for setup, and then the draw power can definitely come in handy. It's only a once per duel, um, so just remember that as well well with this card. And lastly, for the Destiny Hero monsters, I run one Destiny Hero Plasma. This card, um, I tested it out after some recommendations from some people, and I was very happy with the results, just because how fast we can get some of the monsters on the field, and then next turn, rely on Plasma to stop monster effects, take your opponent's monsters for this one as an equip, just making it more powerful. You name it, a very good card to rely on, and you only need to tribute uh, three monsters. Um, you don't really need a Destiny Hero monster, so you're not limited to running full Destiny Heroes in the deck to get this card out. And then for the backup hero support to run with the deck as well, I run three Elemental Heroes, Solid Soldier. Uh, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower hero monster from your hand. If this card is sent from the monsters onto the graveyard by a spell effect, you could target one hero monster in your graveyard except for Solid Soldier, special summon it in defense, and you can only use this effect of Solid Soldier once per turn. I love comboing this card with Destiny Hero Drill Dark since this card can special summon um, a level four or lower hero monster, and then Drill Dark, uh, when it is normal, or special summon you can get the special summon off getting this card out then if you have celestial in your hand summoning that to the field giving you three heroes on the field to work with and a lot of times we can go into the super broke exceed monster number 86 heroic champion so a very you know annoying card to get over but very easy to make with the destiny hero deck for sure so solid soldier at three is definitely needed also since the fact that it can work with Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, which I also run two of, just to work with the Mass Change Search and the um, Hero Search as well. So very, very good. Working all together with the genericness of these hero monsters definitely does come in handy. Same goes for Elemental Hero Honest Neos, just for the uh, hero boost that can provide when um, to target a hero monster on the field and it gains 20 power attack. It's a quick effect as well, so very, very helpful. There, it's mostly what I use this card for in this deck. That power boost definitely does come in handy with some of my uh, big hero fusion monsters for sure. And lastly, for the monsters, I run one Elemental Hero Stratos. Uh, when it's normal or special summon, you can activate one of these effects, destroy spiral traps on the field, up to the number of hero monsters you control, add one hero monster from your deck to your hand. It really does work well with comboing uh, with your um, Solid Soldier as well, especially if you already have uh, cards set up on the field uh, to work with monster-wise, then you could just take out a lot of your opponent's spell or traps, or if you need the hero search, you can go for that as well. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I run three Destiny Draw in a Destiny Hero deck, still very much needed for sure. Uh, whether you discard uh, Malicious and then hopefully not draw the second Malicious off the Destiny Draw, um, you know, special summon it after that discard, so you don't really, you know, minus yourself too, too much for the discard. You can even discard Dreamer or Decider to the graveyard to have graveyard uh, setup plays to go for, you name it, even Celestial waiting a turn with Destiny Draw uh, for the next turn draw. It works very well with basically every Destiny hero in this deck, draw power-wise. I also run three Polymerization, plenty of hero monsters to fuse into, into this deck, so I decide to run three of this card. Very, very helpful for sure for all your fusion plays. I also run two Mass Change, just two. It's searchable with Shadow Mist, so no real reason to run any more uh, than that. And I also run one A Hero Lives. This is for, it has to search and special summon the elemental hero monster from your deck, but you could search Shadow Mist. Um, you won't get the effect off of Solid Soldier, but if you need those options available to you, you have plenty of targets with your Hero Lives, if that's the case. 
and I've dropped it down to two lower darkness in the deck. Now the main reason I dropped it down to two is just because I like to rely on the Destiny Hero Celestial play more for the draw power than I did three lower darkness a lot of times. Just this in the graveyard is more of a benefit in my opinion, but I like the allure just for that additional draw power uh, to use otherwise, so very, very helpful for sure. And I also run one Monster Reborn, uh, just very, very good with all the special summoning in this deck. The same goes for Soul Charge as well. Uh, with that Field Swarm, for sure, um, going back again just to all your different plays, whether you go for the uh, Link Summon uh, monster for your heroes or the all-powerful number 86. If you don't have the Fusion cards to go into any of the Fusion monsters we run in the deck, um, the Special Summon of Soul Charge can never really go wrong. We don't really use Life Point costs for anything else in the deck, so you can go full out if your graveyard is set up for it. And also, I run one reinforcement to the army. It searches for basically any of the heroes in the deck you need. So depending on the play you want to go for, uh, reinforcements to the army definitely is helpful. Uh, Foolish Burial sets up Celestial, Dreamer, Decider, you name it. Uh, once again, it's just a spell card uh, dangerous uh, for you. And lastly, I run one Pot of Acquisitiveness. This is for uh, returning your uh, banished monsters into the deck to reuse and then draw one card. You banish plenty with Allure of Darkness and uh, Destiny Hero Celestials, so you really um, have plenty of options with this card when you draw into it for that. And then just that recycle power as well, because trust me, you'll go through your Celestials pretty fast and want to reuse them. And lastly, for the traps, the only trap I run is Necrofusion. I decided to put this as the fusion trap in the deck instead, just for the fact that you have more options for it. You fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials list on from your graveyard face down, but cannot attack this turn. So really, really helpful for sure, just for easy fusions from the graveyard, depending on what you want to go for also. So you're not really limited to your fusion summons, but definitely very, very helpful with those graveyard monsters to make use of. And that is it for the main deck. When I move on to the extra, I run two Destiny Hero Dystopia. It needs two Destiny Hero monsters to make this card. And if this card is special summon, you can target one level four or lower Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's attack. And during either player's turn, if this card's current attack is different from its original attack, except during the damage step, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it. And if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to this card's original attack. You can only use each uh, fact of Destiny Hero Dystopia once per turn. A very, very powerful uh, powerhouse if you want to go uh, with that uh, in this deck just for the easy fusion summon and then the burn capabilities as well as the destruction capabilities. Uh, very uh, other than going for dangerous, one I always like to go into for sure. Uh, but we've talked about Dangerous enough in this video, so let's go ahead and bring him up. I run two of this as well. Now, with Dangerous, you just need uh, one Destiny Hero monster and one Dark Effect monster. So you can even fuse Shadow Mist, if you wish, with this card as the Dark Effect monster requirement. And the Quick Effect, you can discard one card to send one Destiny Hero monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. If you do, uh, Destiny Hero monsters you control gain 200 attack for each Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Dangerous once per turn. Very, very helpful for um, you know being protected from attacks. If you can set up Dreamer in your graveyard, you can save Dangerous from being destroyed by battle or any of your Destiny Hero monsters. Or if your opponent's just swinging into this and you can get the numbers big enough, that uh, bump up will definitely come in handy as well. I run one Dustopia. You use uh, one Destiny Hero Fusion Monster and one Destiny Hero Monster to make this card. It's a protection fusion spell, it's, uh, fusion monster. So being able to get this out, um, I like it a lot easier with Necro Fusion for sure, just because you'll have those Destiny Hero Fusions maybe in the graveyard, whether you use them for mass change or just if they were destroyed, then being able to go into Dustopia is very, very helpful for sure. And then just for a couple more generic fusions, one Vision Hero Adoration and one Trinity. They're generic hero fusions, so you can use the elemental hero monsters you run uh, with these as well to make them. So you have the options for different fusions as well with these. And then for the mask uh, change targets, one Masked Hero Diane, one Masked Hero Anki, and one Masked Hero Dark Law. The Diane is in here just for the solid soldiers, then Anki and Dark Law are obviously your dark monster targets uh, for all the Destiny heroes and the Shadow Mists we run in this deck for plenty of options. And then for the Link Monsters, one to remain as pure hero as I could in the deck, but one Wonder Driver and one Decimator, just very, very helpful with the different plays they can do for the spell setup, and then just the boost and the piercing effects as well. 
And then for the Exceed Monsters, I run, talked about this just as much as Dangerous, I would say, in the video. One, number 86, Heroic Champion. Um, depending on how many monsters you make, this card just gets better and better with each one. I already talked about the uh, Solid Soldier uh, Drill Dark play you can do to get the three requirements. If you have Monster Reborn and other cards already set up in the graveyard, you can hit the four numbers. But I've definitely been there where I was able to get a good number, four or five, in a couple games to fully make use of this car. It was quite insane, actually, when I was able to. And I also run one Heroic Champion, Excalibur, just for, once again, big hero numbers. If you can't go into Vision Hero Trinity, this card definitely does help. And one Tornado Dragon. I debated between Tornado Dragon and Abyss Dweller as the last Exceed monster in the deck, but I ended up liking Tornado Dragon more, just for more uh, spell and trap destruction options that you may need with this deck to take care of. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.